Hello, welcome to Wild Orchid Watch. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sign up for a Wild Orchid Watch account so you can start using the app in conjunction with iNaturalist. So we need to type into our internet browser. I'm going to use Chrome. And so you type in app.wildorchidwatch. Org. and you'll be brought to this on border screen. So we swipe from right to left and you'll be presented with some information about data collection, your safety and the safety of orchids while you're out collecting orchid observations. And then a short explanation about why we need to collect this citizen science data for orchid research. There's some information about the iNaturalist Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. Wild Orchid Watch is an iNaturalist project. So if you can just read those two short policies um, and then we will sign up. So I click Login with iNaturalist. If you already have an iNaturalist account, you can use this to also sign into Wild Orchid Watch because we are a project within iNaturalist. If not, you can sign up there below the login and you'll just need um, an email address and a password. So we'll log in. And then you're brought to the Wild Orchid Watch app page. So any information you enter from here will be included in the Wild Orchid Watch project within iNaturalist and you'll be able to log into your iNaturalist account and see your Wild Orchid Watch sightings along with any other sightings of other organisms that you record via the iNaturalist app. The reason we use Wild Orchid Watch app for Australian native orchids is because of the extra information you can collect that's highly valuable for scientific research that can only be collected via the Wild Orchid Watch app. And I can show you that now if we push the plus button. These are the uh, categories that we would like you to collect. This is the brief version of the app. So you can see that's all the questions, but then down the bottom here, we can enable detailed mode. And if you turn that switch on, then there's a variety of extra questions. And we would love for as many people as possible to collect this extra information, which includes things like litter, landform type, rock cover size, accuracy, phenology, florivory, and floral visitors. So you can hop into the app and have a look at that yourself and decide whether you'd like to start with the brief version of the app or the more detailed version. You can see the whole way down the right hand side of the app there's a help button and so you can go in there at any time and it will take you to that part of the app and give you some pictures and some descriptions about that category if you'd like a little bit more information. So that's, in, that's the help menu and then we can go back by pushing the cross into the app. So right now I don't want to make an observation, I'm going to just push cancel. So we'll go out of the observation and then back to our home page. At the moment we don't have any observations in here but if I just push this sandwich, so these three blue horizontal lines in the top left there. You can see here is all our um, menu. Um, so in there you can see your observations, your gallery, your species. There's a section here on orchid science that explains the background to why we need citizen science data on Australian native orchids. There's a frequently asked questions area, um, which is also on the website with more questions. If you, a help button takes you back to that help menu settings which is an important area to know about so if you turn compress resize photos off your sightings or observations are more likely to be loaded quickly because the app isn't having to resize the photos however if there is 
uh, lack of space on your device or lack of data, then you can switch that um, on, but just be aware the sighting or the observation could take longer to upload. At the moment we're in detailed mode, but you can go back to, to the brief collection mode if you want to at any time. There's a log out button. You can see that onboard a screen again if you want to. You can work on your iNaturalist profile from here. And you can also check for updates, but they will be automatically prompted to your screen anytime the app has updates. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy using the Wild Orchid Watch app.